Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a avocado leaf with perseamite. Perseamites are these little tiny mites that can infest your plant and essentially they take nutrients from the leaf and they make really ugly brown spots and will eventually lead to a less productive plant. So I have a couple leaves from the tree that I have and you can see here, you can kind of see um, like this plant here has a lot of spots all over it and they're kind of riding along the the veins of the plant and that's where these things like to live <clears throat> and then they make these nests and then they lay eggs and they cause these ugly brown spots and then your leaf kind of suffers a little bit didn't really kill your plant all that much um, you can see this leaf is still pretty nice and big but in the end you know it makes your you know it doesn't produce as much because this plant is going to lose out on uh, its efficiency of producing energy. You know, there's less surface area for um, photosynthesis to happen, less chlorophyll and all that. So we're just going to zoom in on this plant. I have a microscope here, a digital microscope, and you'll be able to see here on the right hand side what these things look like, what they're doing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll zoom in. This thing can zoom in like 800 times. So we'll get a pretty close look. It's not super HD, but you'll get to see what these things look like. So right here, you can see I have <clears throat> my setup. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And on the right hand side, you can just look and uh, see what I'm doing. So we're tr first just going to try and find some. <clears throat> I've already found some on this leaf, so I know they're on here. Let's see here. Pretty much anywhere along the, the veins of the plant, the lateral veins. Um, so, okay, I see them. Ah, oh, there we go. There's two of them right there. We'll zoom in more too. <clears throat> I just want to center these guys because we're going to have to zoom in really far and sometimes it's hard to focus. Okay, so there they are. Looks like there's three of them actually. Um, they're just hanging out by the, the, <clears throat> by the, the vein. And you can see those dark spots all around there. That's those are spots that are already infested. They probably laid eggs and the eggs hatched and now the area is dead. It's typically what happens. I'm just going to zoom in more on these guys. Let's see if we can get a good picture. Almost there. Just gonna focus this a little bit. It's about as good as a picture I'm gonna get. So you can see there's three of them there. They're just kind of hanging out. I don't know what those red things are. They kind of look like eyes. Yeah, they're just they just look like mites. They're not really doing much at this moment. Um, I'm completely zoomed in. So this is 800 magnification. So these things are super, super small, but there's probably a lot of them on your plant, or if you have these. So they're kind of hard to get rid of, actually. I was looking up like different ways to get rid of them, and uh, you know they just say, oh, contact a pest control person, or do something like that. Or one way, they said, just keep your plant super healthy, because your plant could eventually like fend these things off, because if it's super healthy, I guess you know your plant will be more hardy, and they won't be able to feed off the plant as much, something along those lines. So I'm going to look into doing something like that. And then we're going to zoom in real quick on an area that is a nest, and it has kind of like a web over it. And you can see the eggs in there. They're just little brown balls. Let's see here. Right there. there you see right next to the stem you see it <clears throat> now I can show you with my mouse 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a bunch of them in here. You can see all these little, <clears throat> all these little dots. Those are eggs. And you can see this white film that just kind of sits over them. And then I'm kind of guessing what happens. I haven't really caught the moment when it happens, when they do hatch. And then I'm guessing they just feed off of what's underneath the, the web. And then eventually the web kind of falls off. And then that part of the leaf dies. And then they can, you know, go on to make their own nests. So we'll zoom in more on the eggs. But that's pretty much it. You know, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. For those who care. I might even just get rid of this plant altogether. It's only like three feet tall. It was given to me. It's in a pot. Hey, there we go. Oh, you can see right there, there's, there's the one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then they have right here, that's the whatever. Mom, dad, I don't know what lazy things, if they even have a sex, I have no idea. But they're ugly and they should die, so do whatever you can, cut the leaves off, throw them away, you know, they're not great to have around. Uh, do whatever you can to get rid of these things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm probably going to make some more of these videos as I start to have more plants. Um, I just bought a little greenhouse, I'm going to be doing some clonal rootstocks. I'm following a method based off of Linwood Nursery in, in New Zealand. They got a really great process over there for sanitization and just like the whole process they've had, they've been developing for years and I kind of want to follow after that, create some really high quality clonal rootstocks here in California. And yeah, if you're interested in what I'm doing or if you want to buy some of the clonal rootstocks or you want me to clone your plants for you, just reach out. And of course, <laughs> I will not associate uh, these mites or they will not be close to anywhere where the production is happening so yeah I just wanted to show you what this is like because it's very common for people to have on their avocado plants in California